Yeah, hiking was definitely a popular activity today. Take a look at this beautiful trail out here. Uh, many people were concerned with the nice weather. Trails would get jammed up and people with a lot of people, it would make it hard to socially distance. The people we talked with said they did cross paths with others, but they were so glad just to get out of the house. They found a way to make it work. You didn't even have to step foot on the trail to know it wouldn't be a day for a solitary hike in the Tiger Mountain area. Matthew Rio said it felt great to be out. It really was refreshing having uh, the sun and the breeze at you versus just relying on AC or a fan. The state and county have urged caution for those rushing into the great outdoors, reminding people that even in wide open spaces, you still have to socially distance. The Washington Trails Association has some suggestions, starting with hikers communicating with one another. Ideally, the trail's wide enough that you can pass with six feet between you, but if you can't, um, do cover your mouth. Um, that's going to be another thing that we recommend you bringing is a face covering or a mask. And a reminder to plan ahead. Some spots are still closed. They've created a section on their website to help people plan. You're going to want to have a full tank of gas before you leave and um, do use the bathroom. A lot of trailhead facilities aren't going to be open. Parks were also a popular spot to get out today, including this one in Seattle's Madrona neighborhood. The message for those here and at the newly reopened parks in King County is to keep moving. The Trails Association says if you decide to head up to the mountains and you see a crowded parking lot at the trailhead, it might mean you need to go somewhere else. Hikers we talked with said everyone seemed to keep their distance. We would, uh, we would step aside or they would step aside and we would kind of like try to know you can go first or so it was really nice. No one was rude about it. They kept space from each other, but not nature. A connection that feels more important than ever right now. A connection they're determined to protect by helping everyone do it in a safe way. And one more live look this evening out here at the Tiger Mountain Trail. Not much traffic at this point. Most of the hikers have gone home for the evening. Now, we saw some photos and uh, videos from some other hiking spots around the area that were obviously very busy today. Uh, some of the hiking community are worried that if they get too busy, they'll clamp back down and shut some of these down again. The governor says he's going to continue to look at the public health data in terms of how he makes those decisions. We're live tonight near Issaquah. Amy Marino, King 5 News.